Good morning and happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is doing great. Um, my name is Janet and I am a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor. And I am going to do a 60 minute boot camp today. So boot camp is um, just kind of a lot of things clumped up into one workout. So we've got strength, we've got um, cardio, and we've got core, and we've got three circuits to lead us through kind of all three of those, and then we've got a finisher at the end that's really gonna push us hard and get us to the end to our cool down and stretch. So grab whatever weights you have. If you have multiple sets, go ahead and pull them out and feel free to switch them out whenever you um, need to. We'll um, have opportunities to go heavier or lighter um, and you just do whatever feels best for your, um, your workout. So um, if you have a mat, also grab that as well or if you're working out on a carpet, we will go down for some ab stuff. So it's always good to have you know, something to kind of cushion us as we're down on the floor for our core. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you like to work out to music, go ahead and put your favorite playlist on if you um, prefer that. And just for sound purposes, I'm gonna keep it um, without music. You'll probably hear the TV in the background. I've got my kids watching TV and I've got a sleeping puppy over here. So we might have more sound on this side. So I'm just gonna forego music today. So if you like music, go ahead and hit play on your favorite playlist. And I'm gonna go on my timer and we are gonna get started with our warm up. So if you just wanna hop on up and let me start our timer. And what I want you to do is I want you to give me a big inhale, exhale, lift up, stretch. Oh, this feels good. And come on down. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start side to side. So start to kick those heels up. We wanna ease into our movement. So think about getting a good long quad muscle here by bringing those heels in, stepping side to side. And as you get into this movement, if you wanna to start to add a little hop, you can add a little hop, side to side. Really balance on one leg and then press off and hop on the other. And from here, we're gonna go into a nice little jog. So you can start to bring those heels in closer, about hip width apart. So think about getting those heels all the way up. Maybe try and kick those palms, giving your hamstrings a nice little warm up here. And if this jog is too much, you can always just kick and kick right here. Let's go about four, three, two, and one. Let's take those feet out nice and wide. We're just gonna go into nice, easy squats. So think about tailbone goes back and down over those hip or over those heels, hinging at the hip. Shoulders are up nice and tall. Try and get a little movement in those arms. Let's go two and one. Let's get into some jumping jacks. So jumping jacks here, option, lower impact. You can just take it out side to side, tap those toes. Range of motion in these shoulders is a little different. We're now side to side, we're lateral. And give me a good inhale, exhale. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping our lateral movement, we're just gonna go down into a side lunge. So you can go side to side. So one option here is if you've got the range of motion, you can try and touch those toes. If you need to stay a little higher, you can just tap that knee and tap that knee. Now from the side, my hips are going back and my spine is staying straight. So I'm hinging, trying to press those hips back as my back stays nice and flat. Let's go a couple more here. Last one, and in a jump rope. So start a little hop going. Try and keep that chest up nice and tall. You can get a little air underneath those feet or you can just bounce up and down on those heels like I'm doing here. And let's start to get a little twist. Let's start to warm up that core. So you're gonna swivel those hips side to side. Like you're just trying to do a jump rope, twisting through those abs. Heart rate's coming up, I can feel it. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Okay, so taking that right leg, let's step back into a reverse lunge. This is gonna extend through those hip flexors. You're gonna feel that stretch right there. You might also feel a little stretch in that quad right there as that knee goes down to the floor. 
So this is active stretching, dynamic stretching here. We're loosening up those muscles, we're lengthening them out, but we're also getting the blood flow going. We're getting them nice and warm and ready for a little bit harder work. Okay, let's go. Four and three. Last two and one. Last thing before we hit our first circuit. Stand up nice and tall. Bend at the hip. Nice little forward fold. Walk out caterpillar. Find that plank. Hold. Tap those shoulders. And now walk it back. And lift up nice and tall. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. Go back down. Walk it out. Tap those shoulders. Tap. Tap. Walk it back. And lift up nice and tall. Let's go two more just like that. Walk it out. Really find that good plank. So drop those hips. Tap. Tap. Walk it back. And up. Last one. Walk it out. Lower those hips. Plank. Walk it back. Oh, I forgot the shoulder taps. You can add those if you want to. And come on up. All right. Nice little jog on the spot for the next couple seconds. We're going to head into our first circuit. So while you're jogging it out, I'm going to show you what we're doing. So you're going to grab your weights. We're going to go three moves into our strength. They're continuous. It's 30 seconds, three moves with a 30 second break in between. And then we go through it two more times. Then we've got some hit intervals coming up to get our heart rate going after we go that three, go through that three more times. So the first strength move, we've got just a normal squat. So the first move, you're going to put those weights in the center. You're going to open up those toes and you're just going to squat down. So a nice little sumo squat here. Notice my knees go over where my toes are. Okay. Then we start to add a bicep curl at the bottom. And at the top, this is move number two. Then we hold and bicep curl. Those are the three moves. All right, so 30 seconds. Y'all ready? Let's go in about 10. So open up those toes a little bit. Heels towards the center in three, two, and one. So nice and simple sumo squats here. Sink down as low as you can. Notice my shoulders are staying nice and tall. So I'm not bending forward too much. I'm just going straight down, straight up. From this side, I'm really sitting back into those heels. We've got five more, and we're gonna add those two curls. In two, and one. So you're gonna hold at the bottom, bicep curl, lift up, and curl. Hold down, curl, lift up and curl. Check those elbows. They need to be glued to that side. That takes away the swing and the momentum and really helps us lift and get a good contraction on those biceps. We've got one more. All right, after this one, we're gonna sink it low. You're gonna give me a good bicep curl for 30 seconds. Let's go up and curl. So if your weights are too heavy, Option here, you can go one dumbbell and curl. All right, elbows are still at that side. Keep going. Go 10 seconds, we get a little 30 second break. Whoo, are we feeling it? Let's go one more here and rest. Nice work. All right, those legs are feeling it. Shake it out. We got 30 seconds. So if you wanna drop those weights, Go into a little side shuffle, shake out those arms, roll those shoulders, you can. All right, y'all ready? Let's pick those weights up. Set ourselves up for that sumo squat. So in 10 seconds, we're going. So drive those heels in towards the center. Toes are slightly out. Remember that tailbone goes back in two and one. Keep those shoulders up and lift. You're just trying to drop those dumbbells down to the floor as low as you can. Nice and steady and breathe. So pretty static in that upper body. Really use those legs to press up. Five more seconds and we're adding that curl. All right, let's go one more squat. All right, here's that curl. You're gonna go down, curl, lift up, and 
and curl. Ooh, that pause at the bottom right here really adds a little extra on that squat, doesn't it? You gotta use a little bit more effort to get yourself back up. And lift. Ooh, okay, the good news. 10 more seconds here and then we're holding that curl. Let's go one more. Curl at the bottom, curl at the top, and down low, hold, and curl. All right, so if you wanna get a little bit higher in that squat, you can. If your legs are just not having it today, you can always just come up and curl it here. All right, so that's always an option as well. But whatever you're doing, focus on that bicep. That's what we want. Let's go two more. Last one, and we take a little 30 second rest. And up, whoo, all right. Second round, done. Shake it out, give me a little shuffle. Loosen up those legs. 20 seconds into our last round. We got one more to go. All right, so this last round, we're starting to feel the fatigue. We're starting to feel the burnout. So this is our last one. So let's really try and get it out and done. All right, so nice strong legs. Heels in, we go in five, in two, and one. Okay, squat and lift. Squat and lift. I'll go from the side so you can see the form from there and lift. Notice my spine is straight. I'm letting those weights go straight down and straight up. Let's go two more. We're gonna add that curl. Last one. Curl at the bottom, curl at the top. Down, hold, curl. Up, hold, curl. Down, hold, curl. Up, and curl. Keep that rolling for me. Remember, this is our last set. So if you're starting to feel the fatigue, that's what we want. That's what's gonna break down those muscles and have them rebuild stronger. Let's go one more. At the bottom, one more at the top. Last 30 seconds, take it down and hold, and curl, and curl. Think about a good range of motion in those elbows. Think about steady lift and steady release. Don't drop those weights down too quickly. You want control here. All right, y'all. Hang in there 10 more seconds. You got this. Let's see if we can get two more. Last one right here, and come on up and rest. Awesome work. We get to put those weights away for a second. We're going into 40 seconds on, 20 second off intervals. We're gonna start with some side shuffles into a curtsy. So I might have to go out of the frame here a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna side shuffle, curtsy, side shuffle, curtsy. So if you have a little bit more room than me, Feel free to add a few more shuffles. And then from there, we go skaters. Okay, then after that, we're going into shuffles with a volleyball serve. So what that means is you go into a side lunge when you hit one side. So you go shuffle, side lunge, volleyball serve. Shuffle, side lunge, volleyball serve. So you really have to scoop underneath. Then after that, we go hit the floor. All right, so it's just side to side into that side lunge. All right, y'all ready? We're gonna go in about, oh, let's go in 10 seconds. So shake it out, we're gonna get that heart rate up. So you should be breathing pretty hard after this. Let's go in five, in three, in two, and one. So you're gonna shuffle, 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 and curtsy. Shuffle, 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 and curtsy. I'm gonna go this way, see if I have enough room this way. I've only got enough room to get in like two or three shuffles. You might be able to get in more, but the point is, you just wanna get moving. You wanna pick that heart rate up. And shuffle, and shuffle. We've got 10 more seconds and we hit a 20 second interval break. All right, five. Let's see if we can get two more. Last one, and rest. 20 seconds, don't stop moving, maybe just walk around a little bit, shake it out, in 10, we're going into those skaters, so you're just gonna go side to side. All right, you can step for low impact, 
We can jump for higher impact. In two and one, let's go. So the wider you go, the more energy you're using, the higher that heart rate is gonna get up. You can even kick that leg back if you want to. Lots of ways you can get into this skater. Or you can stay low and go a little faster. That's an option too. So whatever feels best, whatever challenges you the most, that's what I want you to do. Good work. We got 10 seconds. Side to side. Five, three, two, and one. 20 second break and we're into the shuffle. So I'll show you that one more time. Shuffle, shuffle, side lunge, volleyball serve. Or not volleyball serve, it's uh, whatever you, can't think of the word, but it's those low volleyball serves. Low volleyball hits, I guess. All right, in three, two, and one. Side to side, lunge. Side to side, lunge. Shuffle, shuffle, lunge. Shuffle, shuffle, lunge. Maybe if any of you are volleyball players, you can tell me what this really is called. I am not a volleyball player. So, I don't know the real name, but maybe you do, and you can let me know. All right, serve. Whew. Get low. You're really trying to get after that ball and get it back up in the air. Let's go two more side to side right here. Last one, and rest. All right, in 20 seconds, we got to hit the floor. Here's one option. You don't have to jump it. You can tap the floor. So it's basically just a kind of a lunge. You're just going off to the side. Now that jump, you can just lift up, explode off into the air. In three, two, and one. Let's get after it. This is our last thing. And we're heading into some abs. And down, and down. Get low, really explode off of that standing leg. Get that tailbone back over that heel. The lower you go, the more explosive the movement it is, the more that heart rate gets up. You've got this. We got 10. Finish it out, finish it out. Last five. Let's do it. Three, two, and one. And rest. Awesome work. Let me grab some water. All right, we got abs. So, take about 30 seconds. Let's roll that mat out. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. Two ways to do this. You can put those hands back behind you. You're gonna tuck those knees in. You're gonna extend it out. In and out. Now, another little harder option is to go into that low boat and tuck, low boat and tuck, all right? Y'all ready? Let's go in three, in two, and one. So you're gonna go low, tap those heels, low, tap. We're just gonna do a little 30 second ab here and then we hit our next circuit. Don't worry, if you feel like you're not getting enough core, we got a good finisher at the end that's gonna take care of that. Nice work, keep going. We got about 10 seconds. And lift, and lift. Don't forget, you can put your hands on the ground back behind you. Last three, two, and one. And rest. I'm gonna give us about 30, or about a minute. I'm gonna set you up for our next one. So, what we've got here is we've got a side lunge, and we're gonna combine it with an upright row. So we start with the lunge, we go lunge to upright row, and then we end with the upright row. Here's what it looks like. Side lunge, you're just going down and up. You can alternate those legs. Once we add that row, you're gonna go down, lift it at the center, down, lift at the center. Then we just have that nice pull from our hips, all right? So that's it, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go in 10 if you're ready. Okay, in five, you got it? We're gonna keep on rolling, keep on doing it. We got a lot to get through. 
and one. Let's go side lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. So from the side, my hips are going back. I'm running out of room. I'm running into my china cabinet. There we go. Hips are going back. Spine is staying straight. Really drop low. Hinging at those hips, lowering that chest. And down. And down. All right, we got one more on each side. Then we start that pull, that upright row. Here it is. So you're gonna go down, pull it up. Down and pull. So you want those palms now to face you and lift those elbows up to those shoulders. From the front, here's where we are. Down and lift. And lift. Let's go. One more. Then we just got that row. Hold it in the center and pull it up. And pull. So again, like those biceps curls, nice, slow and steady release. So you don't want to lift up and drop it down. You want to pull and you want to release nice and slow. Control it. You've got the strength for it. So that's what we want. Let's go two more. Then we get a 30 second rest. Last one and take a break, 30 seconds, and we are back in it. Now let me show you another option for those side lunges. Sometimes this is a little bit hard on knees or ankles. If that is you, you can just go into a little side squat so you don't have to go into that lunge. You can just step out into a squat. That's totally fine too. All right, five seconds. Y'all ready? In two. And one. Let's lunge it. Remember, tailbone back over those heels. Flat back. Lower that chest. And then lift up. So we got sides of our legs working here. We got glutes. We've got those abductors. We're pulling up, pressing through those thighs. Lots of different movements and muscles working here. Let's go one more on each side, and we add that upright row. All right, here we go. Lunge first, palms four or palms towards you, and lift, lunge, and lift. You might be starting to feel that heart rate come up a little bit more on this one. We're adding upper body and lower body movement together for a compound exercise. That means Lots of muscle groups are working. Let's go two more. Just the row coming up. Last 30 seconds. Feet together, row it up, release it down. Lift, lower. Elbows come up to those shoulders. Try not to scrunch them into those ears. Think about a nice long neck here. And lift. Nice work, five seconds. Breathe, last one, and rest. Nice job, fantastic work. Drop those weights for a second. Maybe give yourselves a little shuffle if you need to. Roll out those shoulders, shake out those arms. One more set of these, and then we're into another hit um, cardio segment. So, finish it out, we got 10 seconds. Grab those weights. So remember, third round, we're a little bit more fatigued, so let's get it done. Here we go, let's uh, lunge to the right. I'm getting all tied up in my words. And down. And lift, so this one might be the hardest because we've done two more already. And lift. Nice and steady, focus on form instead of speed. So if you don't get as many reps in, that's okay. I would rather you have good form and good movement than reps. Quality over quantity. Let's go one more. Add in that row right here. We lunge first. So lunge, palms into the center, and lift. And lunge, and lift. And lift. You want to try and get those dumbbells into that chest right underneath those armpits, and lift, and lift. Let's 
let's go one more. And we add that row right here, last 30 seconds. Let's blast it out. Let's lift and lower, lift and lower. Like you're trying to pull a cord up from that floor. Upper back, shoulder blades, and your shoulders. All working hard here. Keep those hips in right underneath your spine. So if you feel like your tailbone is pressing out, tuck it under. Nice, strong core. Let's go two more. Last one. And release. All right, let's just tuck those weights away and stretch out those arms. Okay, in about 30 seconds, we're gonna go 30, 15, six moves. Let me grab my cheat sheet. We're gonna do tire runs on the right. So what that means is you lead with your right and you step into four corners like you're running into tires. All right, so 15 seconds. Now you can stay in a nice shallow run or you can really dig those knees into it. Give me a good high knee tire run. Let's go in three and two and one. So we have 30 seconds, 15 seconds, break in between and I'll tell you what's coming up. All right, so you're leading with the right. Make note of that because we will lead with the left in another interval. You wanna picture those nice tires down below or a four square and you wanna hit all of those squares, all of those tire holes. Let's go three, two, and one, and rest, 15 seconds. Twisting jump rope. So jump ropes, just like this, we're adding a twist. A little bit more core intensive. Shoulders stay straight in front. All right, three, two, and one. Twist side to side. Nice job. Shoulders are up nice and tall. Try not to hunch over. You want that core working to get those hips side to side. Good, good, good. So my arms are just kind of following what a jump rope would do. If you want to just hold them here, you can. Let's go five more. And three, and two, and one, and relax. All right, 15 seconds. Tire runs on the left. So we got these on the left. You're stepping forward and back. Let's go in three, in two, and one. So run it. Pick those knees up if you want a little bit more in that core. A high knee action will also lift that heart rate up a little bit higher. But if this doesn't suit, you can just go into a quick front to back motion like this. That's totally fine too. Whatever works. I just want us to keep moving. I want that heart rate up. We got five, three, two, and one. All right, cross jacks. 15 seconds. So cross jacks, you're gonna cross those legs, come up, cross, lift, okay? All right, in five, in three, two, and one. So cross, really try and use those inner thighs to pull those legs together. So again, working through that core, a little bit more inner thigh action here. And we're still jumping, we're still moving. You got 10 seconds. And three, I'm sorry, five. Now three, two, and one. 15 seconds. All right, so still following that four square motion. You're gonna give me hop to the front, hop to the side, hop to the back, hop to the side. Then we go other side. All right, in two and one. So you wanna imagine four squares. You wanna to get to each one and then we go to the other side. So jump to the side, jump to the front, other side and back. Then we go forward, back, so we're just going around those four squares. Give me one more. Around. So we got two more hops. Now we're hopping back and rest. Okay, moguls. So back to that twisting motion where we go side and side. Side and side, okay? 
Let's go in three, and two, and one. Sink low, and jump, and jump. If the plyo move, this explosive movement is a little too high impact, you can always go back to that twisting jump rope. That's gonna get your heart rate up too. I just want us to focus on that transverse movement. Moving through that transverse plank. Okay, five more seconds. This is our last move. In three, in two, and one, and rest. Awesome job. Grab water in 30 seconds. We're gonna do a 30 second low dolphin. So grab that mat. You're gonna go onto those forearms. Now, two ways you can do this. Knee option is you're gonna go onto those forearms, drop those hips on your knees. You can go child's pose. You wanna feel that stretch right underneath those shoulders and then back down to that plank. Another option is you've got dolphin and then low plank. All right, here we go. In three, two, and one. So lift those hips, find your plank. Lift and plank. Make sure those hips go down. They line up with that spine. They don't stay high. You want a nice horizontal line parallel to the floor. And down. And down. Good. Using those shoulder blades and those lats, and you should feel that core tighten up at the bottom. All right, let's go two more, and down, last one, up, and down, and release. Little child's pose to stretch out those shoulders, and wonderful job, all right, we're down two, we got one more circuit, and then we got our finisher. So in one minute, we will go grab water, we're gonna go into a lunge with an L shoulder raise. So if you have lighter weights, I've been using my 10s. I'm gonna go to fives on this one. If you've only got fives, and you can do the shoulder raises with those, do that. If you need something lighter and you don't have it, maybe a couple of water bottles or something would work too. Here's the move. Reverse lunges to start. So we're gonna go in two. So we're gonna start on one leg. Second round, we'll do the other leg. Third round, we'll combine them. Here's what I mean. Right leg's gonna step back. Reverse lunge and lift. All right, that's round one. Round two, you're gonna take that right arm forward, left arm to the side. You're gonna reverse lunge, lift, and up. So I'm making an L with those arms. Then after that, we just hold that L raise. All right. Let's go in three, two, and one. Shoulders up, reverse lunge, and lift. Now because I went wider, my legs aren't having as much resistance. So if you want, you can add a little kick. That'll add a little balance, and it'll give you a little bit more resistance in that stabilization. You don't have to do the kick, you can do a leg raise, that's fine too. Let's go one more, and we'll add that lunge. So remember, arm on the right in the front. We lunge down, L raise, come on up. From the front, here's what we're doing. So that leg that's going back, that same arm is coming up. And lift. Now I'm starting to feel it on that front leg. And breathe, 10 seconds. And if you don't need weights, if you want to forego the weights here, this is a hard move. You can. Last one. Just the L's. So it's lift and lower. Lift and lower. Remember, we want those hips underneath those shoulders. Core nice and strong. Lift and lower. And breathe. we got 10 seconds. And up. Let's see if we can get two more in. We can. 30 second rest after this one. And done. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the other side. So shake it out a little bit. We start with the reverse lunge. 
left leg is going to be going back. And when we start that L raise, the left arm is now going forward. So now we were here. We're just switching it around right there. All right, in five. Y'all ready? In three, two, and one. So all different ways to do your reverse lunge. You can step up. You can lift that knee, or you can give me a front kick. Lots of ways we're stabilizing that leg. That's what we want. We want to work in a little balance in with our lunge. You'll feel those muscles working for it that way. All right, let's go two more. Last one. Let's start that L. So we're going to go down and lift. Try to keep that neck nice and long. Lift from your shoulders and try not to tense that neck. And again, if those weights are too much for this move, this is a hard move. It takes a little bit more strength and we're working different shoulder muscles. You can always drop those weights. Let's go one more. Just the L right here. So we lift and we lower. We lift and lower. We don't want to lock that elbow out, but we also don't want to bend it either. You want to try and keep a soft elbow, but a straight arm. Hips are tucked forward. Really try and brace those abs. Keep that core strong. Five seconds. We got it. Last one. And we rest. Perfect. We got one more. So here's how the alternating is going to look. Just your basic alternating reverse lunge for that first one. Then, so remember, the arm that lifts is the same as the leg that goes back. So we're going to go down, switch it, down, and rotate. So that's how you're doing it. And then the same thing, we're just going to alternate right there. All right, in three, two, and one. This is our last one. I know those shoulders are really working hard for it. Really try and work hard in this set. This is the last one. Then we got a 20-second Tabata interval workout. We're adding some plyo in. It's going to be a little bit more intense than these last ones because they're 20 seconds. Okay, last two. Give me one more. All right, so left leg goes back, left arm goes up. Lift and rotate. And rotate. So just alternate those arms, alternate those legs. Heart rate starting to come up. We're adding two movements into one. Lots of muscles working hard here. And lift. Let's go two more on each side. We can do it. Whew, last one. Just the upper body. Let's rep it out. Lift, rotate, lift, and rotate. Okay, so from the side, tuck those hips forward, right underneath those shoulders. Core is tight. You can probably feel it tense up as you lift that front arm. 10 seconds. We got it. Just think this is your last strength of this circuit. Let's go two more. Last one. And rest. Fantastic job. Awesome work, y'all. We got Tabata. We got 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Okay. Eight moves. Four in kind of a squat series. And four of them are going to be in a lunge series. So the front, or the um, squat, you're going to start jumping jacks. So go jacks, 20 seconds. Rest for 10. Squat jacks, 20 seconds. Rest for 10. Squat jumps, 20 seconds. Rest for 10. Last one of the squats. Burpee and squat jump. You can also go burpee and lift. Or you can go down, step back, step up, and lift. Combination of any of those. Then we go scissors. So scissor runs. Then we go two scissors to a lunge. So scissor, scissor, lunge. Scissor, scissor, lunge. Then we go lunge jumps. And guess what? You got it. Burpee to a lunge. Here's what it looks like. Low impact. 
Go down, either step or jump, come on up, and lunge back. Or, high impact, jump into that lunge. And then right back into that burpee, jump into that lunge. Those are the eight moves. We go in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Jumping jacks, they go fast. 20 seconds does not last long, neither does that 10 second break. Here's a good time to just kind of take a deep breath before it gets a little hectic. In two and one, rest for 10. Squat jacks, jump down, squat up, squat down and jump up. In three, two and one. Now low impact, you can squat out just like this. Okay, or you can jump it. Lots of different ways you can do it. As long as you're going straight down to the floor, jump it up. Use those legs, last one, and rest. All right, so squat jumps. Low impact, explode onto those toes. High impact, jump it. In three, two, and one. Up. How low can you get to the ground? So from this side, I'm really sitting back with those heels and exploding up. It's only 20 seconds. Work your hardest to make it burn. In three, two, and one. All right. Burpee to squat jump. You know what to do. You know how to modify. We go in three, two, one. Burpee, explode. You can either step back, step up, lift onto those toes, or jump, and lift, or a combo of all of those. We got two more burpees. Last one, and come on up. 10 seconds. All right, scissor runs. Starting to go into that lunge movement now. We just run front to back. All right, let's go in five. Breathe. Exhale, two and one. Nice work, keep it going. Again, like those jumping jacks, this is your chance to get a couple of good breaths in before we get crazy. Let's go in three, in two, and one. 10 second rest. Two scissors to a lunge. Scissor, scissor, lunge, step. Scissor, scissor, or jump it. In two, and one. So, scissor, scissor, lunge. Scissor, scissor, lunge. You can take the jump out of it. You can reverse lunge and step up. Here's what I'm talking about. Lunge back. Scissor, scissor, lunge back. Let's go two. Last one, and rest. Jumping lunges or reverse lunges. Either one. Three, two, and one. Goodness, that interval went by quick. That was a quick 10 seconds. Whatever it is, low impact, high impact, keep moving. Get that heart rate up, work for it. We got one more after this. In three, two, and one. Oh my, 10 seconds. Burpee to a reverse lunge, burpee to a jump lunge. In three, two, and one. Either step or jump back, hop in, and lunge. Right back into it, other side, and lunge. Good. And lunge. Big effort here. I saved the best for last. We got three, two, Give me one more burpee right here. And lunge and rest. That was tough. That was hard, but you did it. How awesome do you feel right now? Maybe a little out of breath, but I bet you feel awesome. Okay, in 20 seconds, we're going down to some oblique crunches. So before I get on the floor, imagine I'm laying on the mat and you're looking at me from the floor. My legs are up in a crunch position. I'm just gonna go side to side, tapping the outside of my heel. My shoulder blades are gonna be lifted up in a crunch, and I go side to side. So let's lay back, 30 seconds, 
So now my shoulder blades are up, low back into the mat. You can scooch back this way to get in the picture. Instead of digging that chin into that chest, try and keep it lifted towards the ceiling. That keeps the strain out of that chest and neck. All right, set yourself up and side to side. Really try and touch those heels. You're working the outside of those abs, the obliques, and that side to side motion. Like I said, don't worry. I know we haven't done a whole lot of abs. We got that finisher coming up. Side to side, side to side. Try and crunch through that rib cage. Let's go. 10 seconds. Nice. And three, and two, and one. And come on up. All right, we got one more strength, and then we got our ab and cardio finisher. Strength. Here's what it is. We've got those weights. You're gonna go into a renegade row, and you're gonna go into a burpee, and then a shoulder press. I'll show you one, one option, and I'll show you the other option. So you're gonna be down in a plank, either on your uh, knees, or on those legs, or on those legs, knees, legs, either way. <laughs> and you're gonna renegade row, you're gonna pull, and pull, and you're gonna step or jump in, and you're gonna lift up shoulder press. So it's like a burpee, you just added some weights. We're only gonna go through this twice, okay? It's gonna be a little tougher, so only twice through, and then we go into our ab finisher. Okay, y'all ready? Let's set ourselves up, 30 seconds of each move. I'll show you one more time as you get set up. We got a plank, we got a row, a row, either step or jump in, lift up, shoulder press. Here we go, in two, and one. So let's go down. We go row, row, jump in, shoulder press. Come on down, row, row, jump in, shoulder press. Come on down, row, row, jump in, shoulder press. Let's go one more. Row and row. Jump in. Shoulder press. Now let's just go into those shoulder presses. Let's bring it down. Lift. Down. Lift. If you want a little extra, you can squat and press. Squat and press. Now make sure those elbows stay in line over those thighs and lift up and lift. Now we're gonna go back down, just the renegade row. In two, last one. You're gonna hold that plank and come on down. Renegade row, let's bring it up and up. Now, try not to open up those hips. I know mine are swiveling a little bit, but try and use that core to keep it nice and stable. You can always jump to those knees Row it here. If the weight is too much, option, tap those shoulders right here. All right, that's an option too. Let's go three, two, and one. Now, 30 seconds. We go through that one more time. All right, so only last one. Then we hit our finisher and we're done. We can do this, guys. We've got it. All right, we're gonna go in 15. So set yourself up. We got that burpee press first, shoulder press, adding the squat as an option, and then renegade rows. All right, in five, in three, two, and one. Find your plank, we row, row, jump or step in, press it up. Come on back down, back to your plank, row. Row, jump or step, and lift. Down, row, and row. Jump or step, and lift. Nice work, let's go one more. Row, row, jump or step. And now we got that shoulder press. Hold it up, and come on down. Start with the press, see how you feel. If you wanna add that squat, 
You can go down low. Come on up. Down low. Come on up. Really use that momentum so explode through those feet so that your arms shoot up from that energy. Woo. Let's go two more. Last one. And we got those renegade rows. And then we're into our finisher. Come on down. Row in those knees or that plank, or you can tap those shoulders. We want to focus on that core. We want to focus on our back. That's where we're getting that movement from. That's where we want that contraction. Try and fix your gaze at the floor. Neck is in line with that spine. Let's go three more. Last two. Last one. And you are done. Nice job. Come on up. Ooh, those were tough. I'm glad we only did those twice. Huh. Okay, our finisher. Six minutes and we head into our cool down and stretch. Okay, so we alternate cardio with a push up move or a plank move, cardio, ab move. And then we go through that three times. So the first one, we got high knees. Cardio is always gonna be high knees. So you're just gonna go into that sprint, high knee. And we have that plank. We got shoulder taps. So if you just did that, we're going through it one more time. Tap, tap. Then we come back up, high knees. Then we go down, and we got bicycle crunches. Then we come back up, high knees. Then we go to high to low planks. So we're starting to move towards that push up. You go down, down, up, up. I'm slipping on my sweat. That's gross, guys. Um, and then we go high knees. Okay. And come on down, and then right tap left. So you're staying on one side for 15 seconds. Then we go to the other side for 15 seconds. Actually, we'll alternate them. Then we go high knees, push ups, high knees, full V up. I'll remind us as we get through. So on the high knees, I'll remind you what's coming up. So every cardio is high knees. All right, y'all ready? We're going in. 10 seconds. We start with high knees, then we go to those shoulder taps. 30 seconds each move, all continuous to the end. In three, in two, and one. Pick up those knees. So, this finisher is supposed to challenge us and push us a little bit to the end. So if you feel like you are starting to really be uncomfortable, that's what we want but I want you to keep going and I want you to keep pushing through. All right, we got five seconds into that plank shoulder tap. In three, in two, and one. Come on down, tap those shoulders, tap and tap. Now you can be in that tabletop, or you can be in that knee plank, or you can be in that full plank. Try and keep the swivel out of those hips. Nice tight core, 15 more seconds. Back into those high knees. And then bring the front. Here's what it looks like. Just tap and tap and five. Get ready to come right back up. High knees, two and one. Jump in and sprint. Run, run, run. Woo. Already feeling it, guys. We're only two in. Already feeling it. But that's okay. That's what we want. That's why it's called a finisher. We want to finish strong. 10 more seconds. Bicycle crunches coming up. Okay, five, three, two, and one. Quickly down on the floor. We don't have much time. Right into bicycle crunches. Tap that opposite elbow to that opposite knee. And rotate. So a couple ways you can make this harder. You can pause and pause, that'll give you a little bit more of a contraction, or you can just go normal tempo. Y'all keep going, I can't see the clock. Okay, three, two, and one, back up. High knees, okay, guess what? We're going into those high-low planks. So forearm, up to that full plank. Knees, tabletop, totally fine here. 15 seconds. Come on, run, 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 don't slow. Supposed to kick that heart rate back up. 
in five, in three, in two, and one. Okay, forearms. So we push up and we come back down. Then you alternate what side you push up on. Keep that rolling. So again, you can fall to those knees right here. You can bring it into that tabletop position right here. That's totally fine too. Or if you're with me on this plank, we got five seconds. Whatever it is, don't stop moving. Last one, hold it up, jump in, high knees. All right, we got alternating cross scissors coming up. Run, run, run. We're spring. We're working hard. We're getting closer to the end. Keep it up. All right, 10 seconds. Almost there, last five. And three, and two, and one. So lay down quickly. Right leg is gonna come, or left leg to right arm, alternate, and cross. Alternate, and cross. And cross. If straight leg does not feel so good, you can bend that knee and come up there. Nice. Let's go. One more each round. So two more. Last one. And back up. And high knees. Okay, we're in the last few minutes. Two minutes total. Two high knees. A push up and a knee up. That's it. That's all we got. Get those knees up. Not our start this fall down to the ground. I don't need to stop. I need to work harder. Come on, y'all. Last five. In three, two, one. Push ups. Okay. Line yourself up. Plank or knees. Come down, up. Down and up. Now, you've seen me also give you an option to elevate yourself. So, if you need that, you can come up on that table or that counter and push up here. That's always an option that's a little bit more shoulder friendly. Okay, I'm coming back down. Five seconds. Let's go two more push ups. Last one. Oh, we're done with these high knees and knee ups, and we're done. One more minute. Come on, guys. Last minute. Work for it. I hope you're breathless. I hope you're trying to get. A breath in. I'm panting over here. Come on, run, run, run. Ten seconds. V ups. All right, here we go. In five. In three. In two. And one. Last thirty seconds. We can do this. Lay down. Either V up or. You can bend those knees and come on up. Either way. Or you can go back to that alternating if you need to. That alternating one is fine too. This is our last 10 seconds and we're done. Stay strong. Work for it. Maybe try something new. Challenge yourself. Last two more. Last one. Best one. And come on up. Cool. All right, how are we feeling? That was awesome, y'all. That finisher is no joke, and we made it happen. And now we get to stretch for the next few minutes. So, I want you to take a nice deep breath. I want you to come on up to a standing position. We're just gonna shuffle side to side for a second. So we're not moving much, but it's just a little bit to help us get our breath. So I think inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. All right, now we're gonna start to stretch it out. Keep breathing, trying to regulate that breathing pattern. Come on up, reach up to the ceiling, bend forward at those hips. So from this side, here's what it looks like. I'm pressing my tailbone back, spine is straight. Fall down towards the floor and hold and breathe. Try and release that tension from that neck and really try to fall down towards the floor. 
All right, let's take our weight and shift it over to touch that right foot. So here's where it, I'll turn towards y'all so you see. So I'm gonna twisting through my core. And that kind of gives us a little bit more in that right hamstring. From here, we're gonna turn towards the right into a low runner's lunge. So rotate that toe to the side, bring yourself around, drop to that knee, runner's lunge, come down, lift up, open up that hip in the front. You can even lift up through those arms if you want to. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into kind of a pyramid pose. So you're gonna bring that back leg up a little bit. You're gonna shift your weight into that back foot, lengthen through that front, and bend forward. And hold here one more breath. And come on up. Lift up, grab that back leg. Bring your heel into those glutes. Bring yourself into that quad stretch. Open up those shoulders. If you're leaning on something, feel free to hold here. Or if you balance, you can balance here. And then we're gonna bring it into a figure four. So you're gonna take that same leg, you're gonna wrap it around to the front, cross it over that thigh, sink back, and hold. Open up that hip. And come on up. And we're gonna do the other side. So, lean forward, reset, and shift it over to the left. Couple of breaths here. And now you're gonna rotate that toe to the side, bring yourself to the left, sink low in that front leg, extend through the back, drop to your knee, lift that chest up, open up that hip. You can even reach up and hold. Two big breaths, make sure you're getting that oxygen in. And now we're gonna take those arms down, bring that back leg in a little bit, lift up, sink your weight back, extend through the front leg, Hold that hamstring stretch. And from here, we're gonna bring ourselves into that quad stretch. So back leg is gonna come up, grab your ankle, bring that heel into those glutes, lift through your shoulders so that you try and get your knee down towards the floor. Nice long line through the front of that thigh. And come on around, cross it over that standing leg, Bend at the hips, spine stays straight, sink that tailbone back so that hip opens up, and hold. And come on up, nice and slow. Let's get into that upper body real quick. Cross one arm over that chest, look over your shoulder. And other side. And last couple of seconds here. Let's lift up all the way, grab your left wrist, pull it over towards the right so that you're extending through your rib cage. Come on up, grab your right wrist, pull it over to the left. And come on up, reach up nice and tall, exhale. Fantastic job, y'all, you are awesome. Thank you so much for doing this with me and for going through um, this workout. Next Wednesday, I will do another one. I'm gonna be in a different location. We're gonna be at the beach next week, so I will try and find a good spot to do it, but I'm planning on doing another workout next Wednesday. And I will see y'all then. Until then, have a great rest of your week. I hope y'all are having a good one, and I will see you next time. Enjoy your Wednesdays.